Hey there, I'm WBTV meteorologist Lee Rock. It is that time of year again. We're talking about fall leaves. Some of you have started to see the leaves changing. Others haven't really seen much at all, but it's just a matter of time before everybody starts to see those leaves really popping out, really looking good for the fall season. So let's talk about just what happens when you have cooler temperatures, which we're easing into. We haven't seen a huge cool down just yet, but we're going to get there. We also have shorter days. I'm sure you've noticed the sun comes up later in the morning. It goes down earlier than the evening. So we just have fewer sunlight hours. And so you put all those things together and the chlorophyll, that's what makes the leaves green all summer. That starts to break down, that starts to leave. And then other chemicals can start to come through. So we start to see other colors. Green, that's the chlorophyll. When you see the yellows, that's xanthophyll. There's a good one for you. Orange, that's carotene that makes it or the orange color. The red colors come from anthocyanin. Don't know if you need to know that. Don't know if you wanted to know that, but there you go. Let's take a look at this. The bright colors, they're most likely when you have the late summer that's really dry. We have definitely had that. We're about two inches behind on rainfall, so we're certainly getting a check in that department. We also need sunny days. Yep, definitely also have plenty of those. We've had a lot of sunshine, bright, sunny days outside, but also cool nights. Now, we haven't really had a whole lot of cool nights. We haven't had hot nights. We haven't had humid nights, but not what you typically think of when you think of the cool fall nights. So that might be one of our limiting factors this time. But let's take, let's take a stroll down this fall lane. It looks so nice outside. This is what we're heading for. This is the whole country. So depending on where you're heading, maybe you're heading close to home. Maybe you're staying in our mountains. Maybe you're going to really branch out this time. So this will just give you an idea of where we have the most color. We'll stay mainly in the east. We have the peak that's way up in the northern part of, of uh, mainly New York, really. And then that's for September. So some of those are already peaking right now. Early October, then we get into this brown color. That goes all the way from Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, into New York, even into Pennsylvania, down into the central part of West Virginia. Then we get into mid-October, and we start to see some of our areas. That includes our mountain areas. It also stretches up to the northeast. And then most of our area, that's going to be in the late October time frame. And then we'll say a little bit farther south in November, that's when part of Eastern North Carolina, South Carolina, and the Deep South really start to pick up on the colors. So let's take a little bit closer view. I wanna let you know, this is from Appalachian State University Department of Biology. I did not make this up myself. I certainly can't do that. So you know you're in good hands with App State. So let's take a look at some of the time frames. The earliest is around the 1st of October. Look at these purple areas right up in here. What we're really talking about are the highest mountain peaks. We're talking about the ski slope areas. That's where you're gonna have the peak early in the season, maybe around October 1st. Then give it a week by about the 7th. That's we have a lot of our mountain areas. If you're not quite the highest elevations, that's when you're going to start to see those leaves really coming through around October 7th. Then we get into October 14th and it goes a little bit farther to the south and the east. By then, I think we're talking about the Burke Mountains, the Caldwell Mountains. You start to really see the peak then. Close to October 21st, that's many of our foothills communities. And then for the Charlotte area, off to the east and into South Carolina, that's going to be around the 28th of October. So everybody's going to get a chance at this. Just depends on where you are. You can actually time it just right. Hit all the leaves over the next couple of weeks and just really enjoy October. So yeah, this is what we're looking at over the next couple of weeks. I hope you enjoy your fall, enjoy the leaves, make the most of it.